Welcome back to Houston Life from Studio B. You know, remember the mall days? No. <laughs> yes, you do. We had some really great guests, such great shows. Back in 2018, we interviewed jazz legend Wynton Marsalis and Vincent Gardner, director of Jazz Houston. They were in town for an event at Hobby Center. Oh my gosh, memories. Well, listen, the guys are back in town this time visiting local schools, and I was so excited to sit down with them this morning downtown at HSPVA, Houston's High School for Performing and Visual Arts. What's it like for you coming and presenting, performing for these young people, running these workshops? Because I know part of your mission is to really expand the jazz footprint globally. That's right. You know, and I, again, we, we, we take our, our lead and our examples from the great institution that, that Winston has helped to build jazz at Lincoln Center and, and, and learning effective ways to spread the music and to make sure that young people are, are, are exposed to it in a way that they can grasp it. We all have our individual rights. And you spoke. <laughs> now, I want to hear y'all be just as enthusiastic in saying it also teaches us to embrace responsibility to others. Let me hear that one responsibility to others. Winton, it's hard to believe that it was back in the 1980s that Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra was formed. Uh, you two have been playing together for a very, very long time. Uh, back in the <laughs> 80s, you were kids. Um, talk about some of your, you mentioned Duke Ellington. Talk about some of your inspirations when uh, Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra was created. Well, just uh, all the musicians who were alive, Dizzy Gillespie, Jerry Mulligan, John Lewis, Betty Carter was one of our early people who really helped us get off the ground. And both Vince and I have uh, fathers who were jazz musicians, who were jazz musicians, and mothers, who in the case of his mother is still a, a music educator and organist and did all kind of great things with vocal music. And my mother was an amateur singer, but she believed in the arts. And uh, we come from a tradition of people who believe in the arts and American arts and who understood the power of jazz to painlessly communicate democratic principles of democratic ways. All of, all of, your, all of these cultures need uh, some way to teach people how to be who we are without having to preach to them constantly or hit them on their hands with rulers. And this music uh, affords the opportunity. You improvise, you play the blues, and you play on a circular form and are forced in a position where you have to do what we call swinging, which is mean you find the rhythm and the feeling of another person whether you want to do it or not. So that's the beauty of jazz, and that's why it's so important and essential in this time of such discord. Very well said. Uh, you talk about how you just sort of feel it and you improvise. Vincent, you've been playing the trombone for as long as you can re remember, right? <laughs> yeah, that's about right. And during, uh, during this three-day residency, essentially, you're going to be visiting with students from Klein ISD, Houston ISD. What do you hope these young people take away from this experience? Well, you know, first we hope that I mean, we know that, you know, you don't see jazz very much on television. You don't see very much, especially on the, even the media that young people are really into now, you know, TikTok and social media and things like that. You don't see jazz very much unless you seek it out. And most of them, of course, are not seeking it out. Right. So it's, uh, it's important that they, that they see this democratic environment in action. You know, you see a big band play, you hear them play, you see how they interact with each other, how they're listening to each other. Before, before you to play in a big band, you have to listen to someone else first. Right. And you, if you see, to see 15 people doing that together right. is an example that you don't see in society very much. You know, we've certainly not seen enough in Washington. So, <laughs> so you know, it's important that, that we showcase that to people. And when we send, when we send our, you know, the members of the orchestra out to the schools and they see, you know, luckily we were able to send two per school so they can see how they interact with each other. And in a, in a smaller version of that, of the same big band, very democratic experience. And we want them to see that and just know that this is a tradition that started here in this country. Something that they can be proud of to be a part of because they are Americans and they're here. And um, it's, it's, it lets them, it allows them to, to express themselves in a way that I don't think they, they, they have a, a way that's equal to that, right. to, to be able to express themselves. You both have an incredible gift, and together you know each other so well. Before we started this interview, 13-8 timing, is that what you were doing? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Can you do a little bit of that for me right now? And in a workshop or performance, 
when you're improvising, you would start with a beat, and then people are just kind of going for it, right? Well, 13 8 is not what you would put yeah. in the workshop. <laughs> right, that's not if the one we do for the complicated. If you're not going to go for it, yeah, <laughs> make your way to the, the thing that makes jazz different. It's like the way our Constitution is constructed. They're very fundamental, basic principles, but you have to know those principles. And when you understand those principles, you have a great deal of flexibility. When you don't understand those principles, then you don't have that much freedom. All right, yeah. Vincent, Winton, yeah. that is our time. I know you have some other people to chat with and a performance to get to, but thank, thank you so much. We're glad to have you here in Houston, and we'd love to see more and more young people performing and being exposed to jazz. Part yeah. of our history, thank right? Yep. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Definitely. It was so nice sitting down with the guys once again on Houston Life. And by the way, if you would like to see Winton Marsalis, the entire band in concert, they are here at Colin Theater at Wortham Center on Thursday. We do have a link to find tickets on our website. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section.